Hello everyone, my name is Yolanda Johnson and I'm a proud freshman at the University of the Bahamas pursuing a business marketing degree. Today I'm excited to be dissecting the topic of foreign exchange controls still relevant for the Bahamas. To fully understand the topic, we must first know what are foreign exchange controls. Foreign exchange controls are government imposed restrictions conducted in foreign currency with foreign currency meaning any currency or notes other than the ones issued by the Central Bank of the Bahamas. The Central Bank is responsible for maintaining these controls. In a country where exchange controls are implemented, the use of foreign currency is not allowed. Currency can only be exchanged at government-approved money changers, also called authorized dealers. These exchange transactions have what is called an upper limit. There are also limits to how much foreign currency citizens can carry in cash in and out of the country. All rates of exchange are set by the government. Now, for a blast from the past. The foreign exchange controls we have today are based off the Exchange Control Act 1952 and the Exchange Control Regulations 1956. It came about through the monetary relationship that existed between the United Kingdom, the Bahamas, and the other Commonwealth nations. These countries had comprised an association known as the Sterling Area or Scheduled Territories, where the significant feature had been the common pooling of gold and foreign currency reserves of the area. Members such as the Bahamas adopted common exchange control policies to ensure that the reserves were protected and spent only in the interest of all concerned. This relationship, however, ended in 1972 with the dissolution of the Sterling Area. What is the purpose of exchange controls? The purpose of exchange control is to protect our currency value, control expansion in the money supply, to safeguard the balance of payments, and protect foreign reserves. Currently, the Bahamian dollar is valued at parity or the same amount as a US dollar. Since the Bahamian dollar is not internationally recognized, the Bahamas relationship with America allows our currency to be based on theirs as they have a strong dollar value. That is important as it stabilizes an economy attracts international investors, and allows for more goods to be purchased. Additionally, exchange controls limit expansion in the money supply. With more money in circulation, we are likely to have a problem called inflation. Inflation is when there is an increase in the money supply which can lead to a depreciation in its value and the exchange rate. For example, one Bahamian dollar is equal to 0.0065 of the Jamaican dollar because they have a weaker dollar value, which allows less items to be purchased. Next, foreign exchange controls safeguard the balance of payments equilibria. The balance of payments is defined as the difference between exports and imports, usually at the end of the year. It shows how a country's economy is doing. Some of our local imports include cars, electronics, and food. However, our greatest export is tourism. Lastly, the central bank must ensure that their external reserves are maintained at 50% of the value of total notes and coins in circulation in the bank. However, external reserves have been maintained comfortably above this in the Bahamas. The purpose of external reserves are to keep fixed rate value, maintain competitively priced exports, and to be prepared in the possibility of a crisis such as COVID-19. How do individuals and businesses gain access to foreign currency? Foreigners doing business in the Bahamas must be designated as a resident or a non-resident. This is determined based on where the company functions. Banks that are considered authorized dealers are the only ones able to conduct foreign currency transactions with Bahamian citizens, unless with the controller's permission. Some examples of authorized dealers are the Bank of the Bahamas and the Royal Bank of Canada. Authorized dealers are required to correct the positions through the purchases of foreign exchange from the central bank. Foreign exchange controls prohibit international banks from investing in domestic securities, and they generally are not permitted to hold Bahamian dollar balances, except for the purpose of payments locally. To conclude, are foreign exchange controls relevant? The answer is yes! Foreign exchange controls are necessary in protecting the Bahamian economy. Although many countries no longer use exchange controls such as the United Kingdom and Egypt as it is considered outdated, foreign exchange controls are still relevant to the Bahamas as it protects our currency, 
foreign reserves, controls the expansion of the money supply, and contributes to a positive balance of payments. In my opinion, foreign exchange controls in the Bahamas are here to stay.